My name is Jacques Ferreira. Please raise your hand for the following if it applies to you. How many people here are some sort of an athlete? How many people have taken the easy way sometimes, such as during a workout, at school, or just in life? How many people have picked a lighter weight than they could have or don't study for a big test and have just winged it? As I'm sure all of you know, I am an athlete. Some would say I'm good, and some would say I'm bad. Keaton Arda, <laughs> Sam Roberts, Hudson Jaquelli always showing me the picture of me having an open net and me not shooting it. Anyway, new things do come relatively easy to me, and I can do them fairly well. But sometimes, some things do require more effort and practice to become better at it or to be able to do it at all. Because not everything comes easy. Not everything comes easy. I have definitely taken the easy way before, and I know even the best of the best have too. But to, but to be able to become better, you have to cancel out those bad habits, and that won't happen overnight. You have to push yourself to do the work consistently. New things come easy to me, like I said, because I'm used to playing sports and being active. But when I'm faced with something like schoolwork and hockey training, I sometimes take the easy route. It may come easy to me as they are easy to do, but the question I should be asking myself is, is this my best work? Is this the best I can do? Or is this the most I can lift? One negative thing that I do is get in my head way too much, and I'm way too hard on myself which usually messes with my gameplay or anything that I do. So if I can create a good habit and learn to work hard even when I don't feel like it, those bad habits will slowly disappear. Just take that one step forward and it'll pay off. Everything will just come naturally. Every day in my life, I'm faced with challenges. Some of them are easy to overcome and some are hard. But with those easy challenges, I tend to take the easy path sometimes. It's just like playing a not so good hockey team or a not so good baseball team. You show up thinking that you're gonna absolutely crush them and you can do stuff that you wouldn't be able to do against a good team. But when you think like that, you don't prepare as much, you don't get in the zone as much, and you act all loosey-goosey. For example, the Toronto Marlies 09 were a good team they are going to play a not so good team, the Markham Majors. They obviously think they're gonna win, but they end up losing 6-4. Some people will make excuses and say, say things like, oh, it's because of their goalie, or oh, because they had a player out. But really, why do you guys think that they lost? Cause they, they're too cocky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. They thought they were the best. Probably because they weren't prepared, and the other team was. Same exact thing happened to us, the Toronto Junior Canadians, against the Red Wings. We lost 4 nothing, and since then, our coach has made sure that we have been prepared before every game, or he gets super mad. No excuses, because not being prepared correlates to our performance. Then. There are harder challenges that require more effort, but I still have for sure taken the easy way out. Like skating and hockey, particularly suicides. Everyone always tries to take the easy way out of doing those. I know this for a fact, because I have done this before. While I was practicing my speech and looking back on it, I realized that what I put most of my effort toward is the hockey side of my life. I thought to myself, why is that? I came to the conclusion that hockey is the one thing that really motivates me enough to try that much more when I'm doing it. I still put effort into school and to the fun things that I do on the side, but really, school isn't just that exciting to me. I mean, who wants to wake up every morning, go to school every day, and get excited to learn new things that maybe your brain just doesn't feel like learning like? And teachers might take offense to that. 
but they can't deny that they have never felt that way at one time too. Correct, Mr. McDermott? Correct. So, I will say it again. Other than hockey, I will continue to practice putting my best effort into everything that I do so that I feel satisfied with the end product and feel like, wow, I cannot do any more. This is amazing. I know it won't always be fun, but not everything comes easy. Maybe in the future things will come easy, but till then, not everything comes easy. Thank you.